how we ended the ceremony last summer over at Headlands Beach. Unaccustomed to courage, exiles from delight live coiled in shells of loneliness until love leaves his high holy temple and comes into our sight. Okay. Drew, one of my favorite quotes is, the greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and be loved in return. I never really truly understood that quote until now. In the past I gave my heart, but it was never returned until you. You have taught me what it is to be loved and how beautiful it is to reciprocate that love right back. Until you, I didn't know what real love was. It's beautiful, messy, complicated, and it's patient. It's getting me a coffee even though I've already had three cups. It's lounging on the couch watching TV. It's eating a terrible dinner that I tried oh so desperately hard to make great. Love, it's the little things. It's reaching over in the middle of the night just to pull me in a little closer. It's sending a single text saying I love you in the middle of the day. But love, it doesn't stop there. It's being my support system. It's letting me freak out. It's consoling me after tough days. It's all the in-between moments that don't mean anything to anyone else but us. I'm so lucky to have found you. Something told me to take a chance on the guy who had a punny username, I'm Drewish, who is so much further away than I wanted to go. Something said, you know what, answer him. This can be great. I'm so glad I listened to that something because something great did happen, a great love story. And it's just the beginning. So great, I decided to marry you twice. I love you forever. <laughs> Kelly, today's the day we've waited on for so long. Today, I promise my love and devotion to you. I promise to always support you and be by your side our entire life. I promise to take care of you forever and always and to hold your hand when you need it most. I promise to be your lifelong travel partner and companion. I promise to always work hard to give you the life you deserve and to even help do the dishes after dinner. <laughs> you are my rock and my motivation. Thank you for helping me grow into the man I am today. You're my everything, and I can't imagine going through life with anyone else. I promise you my whole heart today, tomorrow, and forevermore. I love you more. Because it's in, this, in the tradition, the, the don't do it yet. <laughs> I'm afraid it's gonna go through my foot. Don't do it yet. Drew, oh smash that glass to smithereens. Awesome. saying she wants to be a vet and we buy a farm and then she says I'm going into marketing so I cannot ask for any of, of a better son-in-law and, and in-laws I can't ask for anything better so thinking of the times Lucy and I started to let go of Drew and being real nervous <laughs> Drew and Callie we love you more than you know and we look forward to the beautiful chapter of your lives. Thank you for everybody coming. Love you guys. Gentlemen, a hard worker, extremely intelligent, 
a health nut, an inspiration. He's literally none of these things. <laughs> and also a huge shout out to the beautiful Callie. Can we get a round of applause how beautiful she is? Uh, this also means we go back to the time where he looked more like a scrawny, hooded-wearing skater kid and less like the handsome gentleman you see here today. And if you ever had to wonder just how loved Callie and Drew are, all you have to do is look at the size of their wedding party. She also loves her animals. Like, she loves her animals. I mean, she has signature drinks after them for crying out loud. Come on. I mean, she loves them so very much. But if everyone could raise their glasses for a toast to Callie and Drew, wishing you all the love, laughter, and to planning the new milestones ahead together. Cheers. Love you both. <laughs>